Well, it's Wednesday, it's the 10th of August, 2022. A nice, warm Wednesday, 10th of August as well. How's that? Well, you know, welcome. This is your Bishop, Bishop Desmond Jadu. Welcome to our community update and prayer. There's well, been a lot going on and on Monday night saw the closing ceremony of the Commonwealth Games, which now will be moving to Victoria in Australia. And it was fantastic to see a lot of Birmingham local talent, both old and young, <laughs> featured. And what a sight, Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne, um, in the finale performance there. But I'm not going to pour no water on it because I'm always told that you put a dampener on things. But one thing I'm going to say to you folks, the truth the truth and talking to business owners in Perry Bar, etc. There are slightly disgruntled because the way in which it went, it was used as a venue, but they didn't really benefit from people spending money in their shops. And also as well, I've heard stories of people going to a bar, ordering two drinks and having been asked to pay a lot of money. Some like 40 quid for two drinks. Don't know how true that is, folks. But do you know what? You know, I think it's important to take stock of how things were. Trading standard officers walking up and down the street saying this is a zone where there should be no trading to local business owners. That shouldn't be happening either. You know, we know that some businesses were offered assistance because they had to close. But it's not the way to deal with people. When Villa play at home, for example, right, there is no, the businesses are open and they flourish from the crowds coming in. Now we know that they had to do this in a controlled way to cause minimal disruption to everyone's everyday life. But the local businesses who have been going through so much pain, you know, pain regarding the demolition of Perry Bar Roundabout, pain about all the roadworks and rapid transport systems as well, pain with all the road widening the pain of not having the athletes in Perry Bar either because people were looking forward to that the kids were looking forward to getting their autographs etc but the athletes village just didn't happen but it was a good games and England did well but let's see what the legacy is let's see what the ongoing legacy is and that's the thing I would have liked to have seen Windrush featured more, just like the LGBT question was featured. And I saw the program last night with Tom Daly going to Jamaica and hearing some of the real truths behind the issues that countries like Jamaica have that were thrust upon slaves by slave masters, the wickedness of them and their families, what they did to black people. But Windrush should have been featured because that impacts on the whole Commonwealth as well. And the injustice of the Windrush scandal. And that's a trick that was missed. Because we need people to come together. And that's the thing because the Jamaica flag went up this week, 60 years. But I, I, I've been reflecting, folks. 60 years ago, people with their British passports in this country, and even people in Jamaica were told, you're no longer British, you're now Jamaican having been born and told by the empire that you are British. Instead of being offered dual citizenship, which many have today, they were stripped of their British passports. They were then given Jamaican passports, which they had to purchase. And then those here had to buy back their British passport. How's that? That is just, how bad is that folks? That's not good, is it? And that, that's what happened. But you know, we live and learn and we move on in life. But one of the important things we've got to do is this. We have to really know who we are, what we are and where we're going. And I think that's one of the most important things that we need to be doing moving forward. So whilst we sit here and ponder at times, let us just try and reflect upon the injustices that we've suffered and now we're gonna fix those injustices. And just for everyone to know, the Windrush International Conference happens on the 28th of October, right here in Birmingham at the East Side Rooms. 
Admission to the conference is free. You can register at Eventbrite. So if you just go to Eventbrite, Windrush International Conference, you can book a ticket there. On the evening, there's a dinner dance as well, for which there'll be more details, but there'll be a three course meal with entertainment as well until 2 a.m. Now, importantly, just to let you know, the tickets are 60 pounds. A table of 10 is 550 pounds. But just to let you know, right, this is to help the Windrush generation. This money is to help the organization do the work that we've been doing for year, for the past. We've, we've been in existence over a year, but remember we've been doing this work now for four years and beyond. I've been doing it longer. But the point is, many of us have been doing this work for a while. And when we go out and see people, even if they haven't got electricity, sometimes we help them out. And that's what this money's for. So please, when you see it, buy a ticket. Support what we're doing. D. John Reed. There'll be a rally in Birmingham City Centre on the 27th of August. We meet outside Birmingham Crown Court in Newton Street and then there'll be a short march followed by a rally. Importantly, we're talking about ending all white majority juries or ending all white juries, juries where people empanelled are all white, particularly in multicultural areas such as Birmingham. Also as well as Civil Rights Act, because Dijon Reed, a 14 year old boy, was chased following a, a prior altercation. And he was chased, he was, the N-word was used to describe him. He was called the Black Bee and he was chased. And an adult was driving the posse, as it were, the hunters who hunted him. And one of them had a balaclava and a hood, a pair of gloves, had a knife hidden and chased him openly with a knife across the street in King Standing College Road and stabbed him to death. The five people charged with joint enterprise murder were all found not guilty and the lad who stabbed him, and bear in mind that video, sorry, it was caught on video, so it was the footage, it was all there. Not just some of the footage that you've seen in the media, but also there was footage there of the moment he stabbed him and ran off and the adult ran as well, went and had a look as well. They were all found not guilty of joint enterprise murder and the lad who stabbed him was found guilty of manslaughter and being given the equivalent of 15 years in prison for an adult reduced to by half to seven years six months and because of family circumstances reduced to six years six months he's got to serve half of that sentence at his current age he could be on our streets before he's 18 years old everyone knows and I do believe even the police know, had the tables been turned and all of those people in the dock had been black, things would have been different. We do need legislative change. Also, when a man admits using the, the N-word openly in that way, and a young man dies, and we can't do anything else about it. Join the Reed D. John Reed Justice Campaign. Go to Facebook, 27th of august 12 30 in birmingham city center folks there's a lot of work to do september there's a lot of work to do you know we can see healthy health inequalities raising at the moment we see our elderly at the moment our elderly folks all getting swollen legs as well Many of the ladies especially are experiencing this. I've got about 10 ladies I know whose legs are swelling up right now. You know, there's a whole host of health inequalities rearing their head and we need to get on top of that. Now we know that the um, Berman Public Health have got a scheme going with Lewisham and we'll have to monitor that and see how we can take a lot of the health inequality issues forward. Last thing this evening, folks, Thank God the city was sort of quietish during the Commonwealth Games. There were still things going on in all honesty, but, you know, we give thanks for that. A lot of visitors came to Birmingham, but it doesn't take away the tragedies that are in our streets. And we do need to work together on this. And what we've got to do is prepare ourselves to have those all important, difficult conversations, come up with the action plans and deal with it. So very much a lot of work to do. But hey, enjoy the sun.
We've been told we're getting a heat wave. A heat wave at a time where cost of living crisis is upon us. Where heating bills are going to be astronomical. Many are warning, I'm talking about the war in Ukraine. Why is it that anytime there's an issue with somewhere else in the world, it impacts upon us the way in which it does? What does that tell us then? We have a complete reliance on overseas territories. But the facts are, many a time, we don't even respect those overseas territories, but we should be bringing our manufacturing and our production hubs right back here to the UK, and a lot of it right back to our great city here, Birmingham, because we'd have more jobs for people and a much more thriving economy. And we now need to take stock of this, folks. And that's why we move on. The 5th of September, there will be a new occupant at Downing Street. The Conservative Party are selecting their new leader i understand they've got their ballot papers one thing i will say to you now folks you know someone who's in the conservative party challenge their mind to really have a look at what's going on challenge their minds see what's going on one thing i do admire with the conservative party is that they've actually got a person of color who's running for leader not too sure if he'll be successful in all honesty because the question has to be posed are they ready for a leader who is of our colour many of you will argue that but the facts are at the end of the day they're doing it and I think Labour should at least take a leaf out of their book I'm not talking about characters here folks just so to say that people of our colour are capable that's the thing so let us just do the right thing let us just stand together, walk together, and let us do the right thing. So that's it for this week, folks. Remember, Sundays, 11 o'clock at Panelcroft Village is our church service and our trip to Southport on the 20th of August as well. Do come along, you know, um, contact us. We've still got a few tickets left because we've booked another coach. So, you know, do come along. So until then, God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. Be safe. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for this day that you have made. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful weather. Father, we thank you for giving us the ability to enjoy what's around us. But Father, we thank you for the truth because the truth, Father, is what sets us free. Father, there are many at times who don't like to hear the truth. But Father God, just bless us as we journey. Guide your people as we journey, we pray, Father God and keep us going father we pray for those who are still on the front line we pray for those who are keeping us safe we pray for those father who are thriving to keep us healthy father we pray for all of those right now the doctors and nurses many are overstretched father god ambulances still waiting in a and &E for hours with sick people on them but father you are the way the truth and the light and you will find a way for us to get a breakthrough but father god we know that that breakthrough will only come when we face the reality and we face the truth, Father. So, Father, bless your people today, we pray. We pray for all those who have lost loved ones. We pray for those, Father, who are hungry right now, Father, that someone will go to their aid. Father God, we pray for our young people. Father God, the future is so uncertain at times, but we know by God's grace, by your grace, we will conquer. Father, bless all upcoming events. Keep everywhere peaceful. Keep the place calm, we pray, Father God. Keep our children safe. Keep the fabulous escape. Keep all families safe. Father God, there are so many crimes going on, besieging our cities. We do need you right now. Father, be with us, we pray, as we journey. And Father God, one thing we pray and ask tonight is that you stop us from looking back. Let us remain focused on the journey and on the road ahead so that we will fulfill the destiny that you have given unto each and every one of us. Father God, we thank you. We worship and adore your name right now. And we give you thanks for this time of sharing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Be safe. God bless you.